Do not depend upon the morality of a person until you have seen him behave while in anger. No amount of guilt can change the past and no amount of worrying can change the future. The moment you start arguing with an ignorant fool, you have already lost. Do not look at who is talking, but look at what he is saying. All that passes away from the aspect of the manifest comes under the aspect of the hidden. The essence is one. Nothing has passed away. The tears we shed water the gardens in our hearts. Happiness is attained by three things. Being patient when tested, being thankful when receiving a blessing, and being repentant upon sinning. And if a person were given all of the world and what is in it, it would not fill his emptiness. Don't depend too much on anyone in this world, because even your own shadow leaves you when you are in darkness. What really counts are good endings, not flawed beginnings. Sometimes the people with the worst past create the best future. Let not your love become attachment, nor your hate become destruction. There is no goodness in people who don't give advice, and there is no goodness in people who don't like to be advised. Don't count the days. Make the days count. See the bad inside yourself and see the good inside others. Two kinds of greedy people never get satisfied. The seeker of knowledge and the seeker of this world. When the secret of one particle of the atoms is clear, the secret of all created things, both outward and inward, is clear, and you do not see in this world or the next anything except God. Attach yourself to me. No one is more inward than I. If you hold to the unity, you are with the truth. In this world, there is a paradise. Whoever does not enter it will not enter the paradise of the hereafter. Women are one half of society which gives birth to the other half so it is as if they are the entire society. Allah will support the just state even if it is led by unbelievers, but Allah will not support the oppressive state even if it is led by believers. A real man is one who fears the death of his heart, not of his body. If the heart is fed by love, the greed for pleasure would disappear. Sitting with the poor and less fortunate people removes the ego and pride from your heart. Anyone who genuinely and consistently with both hands looks for something will find it. There is a candle in your heart ready to be kindled. There is a void in your soul ready to be filled. You feel it, don't you? To forgive an oppressor is oppression upon the oppressed. When you see that any scholar loves the world, then his scholarship is in doubt. Do not be an arrogant scholar, for scholarship cannot subsist with arrogance. 
Nobility in three traits. Being generous when you have little to give. Tolerating without being humiliated. And abstaining from asking for favors. What you hide in your heart appears in your eyes. If you want to know where your heart is, see where your mind goes when it wanders. How strange. You lose a little from you and you cry. And your whole life is wasting and you're laughing. When there is money in your hand and not in your heart, it will not harm you even if it is a lot. And when it is in your heart, it will harm you even if there is none in your hands. When Allah tests you, it is never to destroy you. When he removes something in your possession, it is only in order to empty your hands for an even greater gift. If I remain silent, and you remain silent, then who will teach the ignorant? Every punishment from him is pure justice, and every blessing from him is pure grace. Whoever desires everlasting bliss, let him adhere firmly to the threshold of servitude. You need to feel the pain so that you can understand the pain of others you have hurt. Wisdom is the child of patience. I am no one in existence but myself. The desires of this world are like seawater. The more you drink of them, the more you thirst. Renouncing the worldly pleasures is a comfort for both the human heart and body. Luxury is an obstacle, and so is the fatness of the body. I have never regretted my silence. As for my speech, I have regretted it over and over again. To speak less is wisdom, to eat less is healthy, and to mingle less with tea people is safe and serene. Do not overeat. That invites disease. No amount of worrying can change the future. Go easy on yourself, for the outcome of all affairs is determined by God's decree. If something is meant to go elsewhere, it will never come your way. But if it is yours by destiny, from you it cannot flee. Do not put off today's work until tomorrow, lest work accumulate and you achieve nothing. Hold yourselves accountable before you are held accountable. He who keeps his own counsel keeps his affairs in his own hands. Forgive people so that Allah may forgive you. Acquire knowledge and learn tranquility and dignity. Acquire knowledge before you become leaders and pride prevents you from learning and you live in ignorance. The person I like most is the one who points out my defects. Get used to a rough life, for luxury does not last forever. To be alone means that you avoid bad company. But to have a true friend is better than being alone. He who does not live in the way of his belief starts to believe in the way he lives. He who wins through fraud is not a winner. Earning of livelihood by following some profession is better than living on charity. 
If a person has ten habits out of which nine are good, and one bad, that bad one will destroy the good ones. Trust is that there should be no difference between what you do and say, and what you think. As long as you are pure of heart, you speak the truth. Avoidance of sin is lighter than the pain of remorse. Do not be misled by hearing of anyone's reputation. That which you do not wish for yourself, do not impose on others. Women are not a garment you wear and undress however you like. They are honored and have their rights. No man can have anything better after faith than a woman of righteous character, loving and childbearing. And no man can have anything worse after unbelief than a sharp-tongued woman of bad character. A man may be as straight as an arrow, but even then he will have some critics. If Allah wants for a people ill, he gives them debates and takes away from them actions. Sit with those who constantly repent, for they have the softest hearts. If your ruler is just, then praise God. But if he is unjust, pray to God to rid you of him. Do not be deceived by a man's eloquence. Rather, whoever fulfills trusts and refrains from impugning people's honor is a real man. He who went to the kings to seek favors went away from Allah. For those who practice tyranny and deprive others of their rights, I will be harsh and stern. But for those who follow the law, I will be most soft and tender. If a sheep dies on the shore of the Euphrates, I fear lest Allah ask me to account for it on the day of resurrection. We are a people whom Allah gave might and glory to through Islam, so we will never seek glory through anything else. Death is teacher enough, true faith is wealth enough, and worship is action enough. Take account of your deeds before they are taken account of. The tongue is sharper than a sword. A person is weighed by his speech and valued by his action. So say that which is weighty and do that which has great value. There is a key to every door and a dawn to every dark night. Do not follow the majority, follow the truth. Forgiveness is the best revenge. Anger is like a ball of fire, but if you swallow it, it's sweeter than honey. Work for a better life as if you live forever, and work for a better end as if you die tomorrow. If you succeed in misleading somebody, do not think of him of being a big fool, rather think about how he trusted you. Do not feel ashamed if the amount of charity is small, because to refuse the needy is an act of greater shame. Nothing hurts a good soul and a kind heart more than to live amongst people who cannot understand it. Don't develop a friendship with the enemy of your friend. Otherwise, your friend will turn into an enemy. 
The richest of the rich is one who is not a prisoner to greed. When you get ill, do not get nervous about it and try as much as possible to be hopeful. Keep your thoughts cleaner than pure water. As water drops make a river, thoughts make character and faith. The most complete gift of God is a life based on knowledge. Remember that people are of two kinds. They are either your brothers in religion or your brothers in mankind. A person's intellect becomes apparent through his dealings, and a man's character is known by the way he exercises authority. There are two ways to live a pleasant life, either in someone's heart or in someone's prayer. Hearts of people are like wild beasts. They attach themselves to those who love and train them. Conquer your lustful desires and your wisdom will be perfected. To make one good action succeed another is the perfection of goodness. There is no wealth like knowledge, no poverty like ignorance. Do not raise your children the way your parents raised you. They were born for a different time. Get to know the right, then you would know the people of right. Right is not measured by its men, but men are measured by their right. Every breath you take is a step towards death. Justice is putting everything in its proper place. The value of a person is what he does best. If all the women over the world have been permitted to be married to only one man, except one woman, he'd love to marry that woman. That is the imprint of man. The learned man understands the ignorant for he was once ignorant himself. The ignorant man does not understand the learned, for he has never been learned himself. I wonder at a man who loses hope of salvation when the door of repentance is open for him. There is no greater wealth than wisdom, no greater poverty than ignorance, no greater heritage than culture, and no greater support than consultation. Do not take someone's silence as his pride. Perhaps he is busy fighting with his self. If one night you see someone committing a sin, tomorrow do not look at him as a sinner. He may have repented during the night, and you did not know. People are like waves of the ocean. Some cover you with tides of refreshment whilst others drown you in floods of turmoil. When my prayers are answered, I am happy because it was my wish. When my prayers are not answered, I am even more happy because that was God's wish. There is no joy for the one who does not bear sadness. There is no sweetness for the one who does not have patience. There is no delight for the one who does not suffer, and there is no relaxation for the one who does not endure fatigue. The sinner does not feel any remorse over his sins, that is because his heart is already dead. Whoever prefers Allah to all others, Allah will prefer him to others. This worldly life is like a shadow. If you try to catch it, you will never be able to do so. If you turn your back towards it, 
it has no choice but to follow you. A person's tongue can give you the taste of his heart. If a heart becomes attached to anything other than Allah, Allah makes him dependent on what he is attached to, and he will be betrayed by it. If you knew the true value of yourself, you will never allow yourself to be humiliated by committing sins. A tear that runs down a believer's cheek is more beneficial than a thousand raindrops on the earth. There are six stages to knowledge. Firstly, asking questions in a good manner. Secondly, remaining quiet and listening attentively. Thirdly, understanding well. Fourthly, memorizing. Fifthly, teaching. Sixthly, and it is its fruit, acting upon the knowledge and keeping to its limits. Be sincere in your aim, and you will find the support of Allah surrounding you. Beware of preoccupying your heart with what it has not been created for. Patience is that the heart does not feel anger towards that which is destined, and that the mouth does not complain. Speech remains as a slave to you, but the moment it leaves your mouth, you become its slave. Doom comes about because of neglecting to evaluate oneself and because of just following one's whims. Truly in the heart, there is a void that cannot be removed except with the company of Allah, and in it there is a sadness that cannot be removed except with the happiness of knowing Allah and being true to Him. A slave stands in front of Allah on two occasions, the first during Salah and secondly on the Day of Judgment. Whosoever stands correctly in the first, the second standing will be made easier for him, and whosoever disregards the first standing, the second standing will be extremely difficult. Every love that leads away from his love is in fact a punishment. Only a love that leads to his love is a heartfelt and pure love. Faith is of two halves. Half is patience, and half is being thankful. He who keeps his heart near God will find peace and tranquility, whilst he who gives his heart to the people will find restlessness and apprehension. Be to Allah as he wishes, and he will be to you more than you can wish for. O oh, you! who spends his lifetime disobeying his Lord, no one amongst your enemies is wicked to you more than you are to yourself. If the heart becomes hardened, the eye becomes dry. As long as one is following the right way, one should never be concerned about the reproaches of those who like to find faults. The sea of pleasures may drown its owner, and the swimmer fears to open his eyes under the water. Beware of every hour and how it passes, and only spend it in the best possible way. Do not neglect yourself, but render it accustomed to the noblest and best of actions, and send to your grave that which will please you when you arrive to it. O oh, people who take pleasure in a life that will vanish, falling in love with a fading shadow is sheer stupidity. The soul will never become pious and purified except through undergoing afflictions. It is the same as gold that can never be pure except after removing all the base metals in it. 
Whoever mocks his brother for a sin they repented from will not die till he himself falls into the same sin. When a person spends his entire day with no concern but Allah alone, Allah will take care of all his needs and take care of all that is worrying him. He will empty his heart so that it will be filled only with love for him. And if a person were given all of the world and what is in it, it would not fill his emptiness. This whole religion revolves around knowing the truth and acting by it, and action must be accompanied by patience. Worship is founded upon the legal law and following it, not upon one's base desires and innovation. The more the servant loves his master, the less he will love other objects, and they will decrease in number. The less the servant loves his master, the more he will love other objects, and they will increase in number. Sins cause harm and repentance removes the cause. A man will never fear something besides Allah unless it be due to a disease in his heart. Sins are like chains and locks preventing their perpetrator from roaming the vast garden of the oneness of God and reaping the fruits of righteous actions. Trials and tribulation are feeling the heat and the cold. When one knows that they cannot be avoided, he will not feel anger at their onset, nor will he be distressed of disheartened. In this world, Man finds remembrance of Allah, praising Him and worshipping Him, a delight that is incomparable to anything else. The objective of asceticism is to leave all that harms the servants hereafter and the objective of worship is to do all that will benefit his hereafter. Everyone experiences bouts of jealousy but the dignified person conceals it, while the vulgar one acts upon it. If you do good in secret, Allah will shower his good on you in public. Verily, I constantly renew my Islam until this very day, as up to now, I do not consider myself to have ever been a good Muslim. Some people have the disease of criticizing all the time. They forget the good about others and only mention their faults. They are like flies that avoid the good and pure places and land on the bad and wounds. This is because of the evil within the self and the spoiled nature. A calamity that makes you turn to Allah is better for you than a blessing which makes you forget the remembrance of Allah. When people help one another in sin and transgression, they finish by hating each other. What can my enemies do to me? My paradise is in my heart. It is with me wherever I go. To imprison me is to provide me with seclusion. To send me into exile is to send me away in the path of Allah, and to kill me is to make me a martyr. God does not create pure evil. Rather, in everything that he creates is a wise purpose by virtue of what is good. However, there may be some evil in it for some people, and this is partial, relative evil. As for total evil or absolute evil, the Lord is exonerated of that. Men mixing with women is like fire mixing with wood. You should not look at what the person used to do. Rather, you should look at what kind of person they are today. The one who gets bogged down about people's pasts, 
is just like Iblis who said to Allah, you created me from fire and you created him from clay. Whatever is not done by the permission of Allah will not happen, and what is not done for the sake of Allah will not benefit or remain. Beautiful leaving is to leave without harming, beautiful pardoning is to pardon without rebuking, and beautiful patience is to be patient without complaining. The people of the Sunna are the most knowledgeable of mankind concerning the truth and the most merciful of the creation towards the rest of creation. Perpetually is the servant either the recipient of a blessing from Allah, in which case he is need of gratitude, or he is the perpetrator of sin, in which case he is in need of repentance. He is always moving from one blessing to another and is always is in need of repentance. I have always known that Greek logic is neither needed by the intelligent nor of any use to the dullard. My heart has become capable of every form. Loving your homeland is part of your faith. The things of the invisible world attract me more than those of actual life. All that is left to us by tradition is mere words. It is up to us to find out what they mean. This world is a place of preparation where one is given many lessons and passes many tests. What is bad is what you do with the world when you become blind to truth and totally consumed by your desires, lust, and ambition for it. God will bring you assistance and the people you will help sooner or later. If I am close to him, he brings me even closer. Seek the company of the wise, who know. Agree with what they say, for one understands only that with which one agrees. If you trust in God and make him your companion, then all your paths will become easy and safe. All fights and conflicts in the world began after someone spilled his brother's blood. If men knew themselves, they would know God. And if they really knew God, they would be satisfied with him and would think of him alone. Every bird flies with their own kind, eagles with eagles, crows with crows. For hope you need faith. Purify my soul from doubt. O oh God, I ask of you light and guidance. How can the heart travel to God when it is changed by its desires? Wheresoever you turn, there is the face of Allah. When you know yourself, your inness vanishes. These stories I have recounted to you will remind you of what is within you. I follow the way of love. Be established in truth. On him alone we depend for everything. What you plant here, you will reap there. The ignorant one does not see his ignorance as he basks in its darkness, 
nor does the knowledgeable one seize his own knowledge, for he basks in its light. Choose less over more in it. Be satisfied with what you have, even if it is less than what others have. In fact, prefer to have less. If pain wasn't the biggest blessing, why would God give it? As for the theorists and thinkers, and the scholastic theologians, with their talk about the soul and its properties, none of them have grasped the reality. Such speculation can never grasp it. He who seeks to know the reality through theoretical speculation is flogging a dead horse. For he who seeks to know it by any means, other than the one proper to it, will never grasp it. Such knowledge can only be had by actual experience, nor can the reason of man define it, or arrive at any cognizance of it by deduction. Just as one cannot, without experience, know the taste of honey, the bitterness of patience, the bliss of union, love, passion, or desire. Be sincere in what you say. A single tongue should not speak two different words. No deceit or fraud should enter into your thoughts. Do not belittle anyone or anything, for everyone and everything in its inner being wishes for the same thing. The whole universe is contained within a single human being, you. In the blackest of your moments, wait with no fear. Death has nothing to do with going away. The sun sets, the moon sets, but they are not gone. We carry inside us the wonders we seek outside us. I have been a seeker, and I still am. But I stopped asking the books and the stars. I started listening to the teaching of my soul. Why are you knocking at every door? Go, knock at the door of your own heart. Keep silent, because the world of silence is a vast fullness. The spirit is so near that you can't see it, but reach for it. Don't be a jar, full of water, whose rim is always dry. Don't be the rider who gallops all night, and never sees the horse that is beneath him. There is a voice that doesn't use words, listen. When the world pushes you to your knees, you're in the perfect position to pray. Let your teacher be love itself. I should be suspicious of what I want. Life is a balance of holding on and letting go. I am not this hair. I am not this skin. I am the soul that lives within. Achieve some perfection yourself, so that you may not fall into sorrow, by seeing the perfection in others. Patience with small details makes perfect a large work, like the universe. Let us carve gems out of our stony hearts and let them lie our path to love. Whoever has heart's doors wide open could see the sun itself in every atom. Study me as much as you like, you will not know me, for I differ in a hundred ways from what you see me to be. Put yourself behind my eyes and see me as I see myself, 
for I have chosen to dwell in a place you cannot see. Who could be so lucky? Who comes to a lake for water and sees the reflection of moon? Two there are who are never satisfied, the lover of the world and the lover of knowledge. Run from what's comfortable, forget safety, live where you fear to live, destroy your reputation, be notorious. I have tried prudent planning long enough, from now on I'll be mad. When I am silent, I fall into the place where everything is music. By God, when you see your beauty, you will be the idol of yourself. Caught by our own thoughts, we worry about everything. I want to sing like the birds sing, not worrying about who hears or what they think. A thousand half-loves must be forsaken to take one whole heart home. You were born with wings, why prefer to crawl through life? Suffering is a gift, in it is hidden mercy. Take someone who doesn't keep score, who's not looking to be richer, or afraid of losing, who has not the slightest interest even in his own personality. He's free. Be an empty page, untouched by words. Be drunk with love, for love is all that exists. With every breath, I plant the seeds of devotion. I am a farmer of the heart. It's your road and yours alone. Others may walk it with you, but no one can walk it for you. In silence, there is eloquence. Stop weaving and see how the pattern improves. I closed my mouth and spoke to you in a hundred silent ways. Ignore those that make you fearful and sad, that degrade you back towards disease and death. The breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you, don't go back to sleep. Be a lamp, or a lifeboat, or a ladder. Help someone's soul heal. Walk out of your house like a shepherd. I once had a thousand desires, but in my one desire to know you all else melted away. Out beyond ideas of wrongdoing and right doing there is a field. I'll meet you there. Not only the thirsty seek the water, the water as well seeks the thirsty. Let yourself be silently drawn by the strange pull of what you really love. It will not lead you astray. Moonlight floods the whole sky from horizon to horizon. How much it can fill your room depends on its windows. Let yourself be drawn by the stronger pull of that which you truly love. We come spinning out of nothingness, scattering stars like dust. Remember, the way you make love is the way God will be with you. I didn't come here of my own accord, and I can't leave that way. Whoever brought me here will have to take me home. On a day when the wind is perfect, the sail just needs to open, and the world is full of beauty, 
Today is such a day. When you feel a peaceful joy, that's when you are near truth. Either give me more wine or leave me alone. When someone beats a rug, the blows are not against the rug, but against the dust in it. They say there is a doorway from heart to heart, but what is the use of a door when there are no walls? Wherever you are and whatever you do, be in love. You are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. I know you're tired, but come. This is the way. And you, when will you begin that long journey into yourself? Desires make slaves out of kings and patience makes kings out of slaves. Knowledge without action is wastefulness and action without knowledge is foolishness. To get what you love, you must first be patient with what you hate. You possess only whatever will not be lost in a shipwreck. Declare your jihad on 13 enemies you cannot see egoism, arrogance, conceit, selfishness, greed, lust, intolerance, anger, lying, cheating, gossiping, and slandering, if you can master and destroy them. Then you will be read to fight the enemy you can see. Do not allow your heart to take pleasure with the praises of people, nor be saddened by their condemnation. Each of your breaths is a priceless jewel, since each of them is irreplaceable and once gone, can never be retrieved. Never have I dealt with anything more difficult than my own soul, which sometimes helps me and sometimes opposes me. Those who look for seashells will find seashells. Those who open them will find pearls. The hypocrite looks for faults. The believer looks for excuses. Knowledge exists potentially in the human soul like the seed in the soil. By learning the potential becomes actual. The mere physical man is like the ant crawling on the paper, who observes black lettering and attributes its production to the pen and nothing more. A man of bad character punishes his own soul. Do not fix hopes on your health and do not laugh away life. Remember how they walked and now all their joints lie separately and the tongue with which they talked lightly is eaten away by the worms. No, O oh beloved, that man was not created in jest or at random but marvelously made and for some great end. Although he is not form everlasting, yet he lives forever. And though his body is mean and earthly, yet his spirit is lofty and divine. A fen love between two people intensifies not because of beauty or some advantage, but because of sheer spiritual affinity. If you're busy with yourself now, you will be busy with yourself then. If you are busy with Allah now, you will be with him then. He who does not arrive at the intuition of these truths by means of ecstasy knows only the name of inspiration. Man's nature is made up of four elements, which produce in him four attributes 
namely the beastly, the brutal, the satanic, and the divine. In man there is something of the pig, the dog, the devil, and the saint. The corruption of religions comes from turning them to mere words and appearances. Do not dispute with anyone in any matter as far as possible. For in argumentation lies much harm, and its evil is greater than its benefit. A human being is not a human being while his tendencies include self-indulgence, covetousness, temper, and attacking other people. This visible world is a trace of that invisible one, and the former follows the latter like a shadow. The happiness of the drop is to die in the river. Does money upset the hearts of learned men? He answered, men whose hearts are changed by money are not learned. Remember it is the heart and not the body which strives to draw near to God. By heart I do not mean the flesh perceived by the senses, but that secret thing which is sometimes expressed by spirit and sometimes by soul. Whoever determines the truth from people alone will remain lost in the plains of bewilderment. Rather, know the truth, and you will know its people. The way to paradise is an uphill climb, whereas hell is downhill. Hence, there is a struggle to get to paradise, and not to hell. Understand that for every rule which I have mentioned from the Quran, the devil has one to match it, which he puts beside the proper rule to cause error. It is sometimes said that we drink our religion with our mother's milk. People count with self-satisfaction the number of times they have recited the name of God on their prayer beads, but they keep no beads for reckoning the number of idle words they speak. If those who do not possess knowledge avoid the scholarly discussions, disagreement will end. Work for your terrestrial life in proportion to your location in it, and work for your afterlife in proportion to your eternity in it. The soul should take care of the body, just as the pilgrim on his way to Mecca takes care of his camel. But if the pilgrim spends his whole time in feeding and adorning his camel, the caravan will leave him behind, and he will perish in the desert. In God, there is no sorrow or suffering or affliction. If you want to be free of all affliction and suffering, hold fast to God and turn wholly to Him and to no one else. Indeed, all your suffering comes from this, that you do not turn toward God and no one else. Men have such a good opinion of themselves, of their mental superiority and intellectual depth. They believe themselves so skilled in discerning the true from the false, the path of safety from those of error, that they should be forbidden as much as possible the perusal of philosophic writings. If the world had two gods, it would surely go to ruin. This is the first premise. Now it is known that it has not gone to ruin. This is the second premise. From these premises, the conclusion must of necessity follow. That is, the denial of two gods. He who buries his head deep into a nose bag full of food cannot hope to see the invisible world. Love for God is the farthest reach of all stations, the sun of the highest degrees, and there is no station after that of love, except its fruit and its consequences. 
Whoever passes forty without his virtue overpowering his vice, let him get ready for hellfire. This advice contains enough for people of knowledge. To completely trust in Allah is to be like a child who knows deeply that even if he does not call for the mother, the mother is totally aware of his condition and is looking after him. Half of disbelief in Allah in the world is caused by people who make religion look ugly due to their bad conduct and ignorance. If I remain silent, and you remain silent, then who will teach the ignorant? Every punishment from him is pure justice, and every blessing from him is pure grace. Whoever desires everlasting bliss, let him adhere firmly to the threshold of servitude. You need to feel the pain so that you can understand the pain of others you have hurt. Wisdom is the child of patience. I am no one in existence but myself. The desires of this world are like sea water. The more you drink of them, the more you thirst. How strange! You lose a little from you, and you cry, and your whole life is wasting, and you're laughing. When there is money in your hand, and not in your heart, it will not harm you even if it is a lot. And when it is in your heart, it will harm you even if there is none in your hands. When Allah tests you, it is never to destroy you. When He removes something in your possession, it is only in order to empty your hands for an even greater gift. Wherever you are and whatever you do, be in love. You are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. I know you're tired, but come, this is the way. And you, when will you begin that long journey into yourself? A calamity that makes you turn to Allah is better for you than a blessing which makes you forget the remembrance of Allah. When people help one another in sin and transgression, they finish by hating each other. What can my enemies do to me? My paradise is in my heart. It is with me wherever I go. To imprison me is to provide me with seclusion. To send me into exile is to send me away in the path of Allah. And to kill me is to make me a martyr. God does not create pure evil. Rather, in everything that He creates is a wise purpose by virtue of what is good. However, there may be some evil in it for some people, and this is partial, relative evil. As for total evil or absolute evil, the Lord is exonerated of that. Keep silent, because the world of silence is a vast fullness. The spirit is so near that you can't see it, but reach for it. Don't be a jar full of water whose rim is always dry. Don't be the rider who gallops all night and never sees the horse that is beneath him. There is a voice that doesn't use words. Listen. When the world pushes you to your knees, you're in the perfect position to pray. Wheresoever you turn, 
there is the face of Allah. <laughs>